What you are watching is a natural plantimal. Elysia clarki is half plant, half animal. To be more precise, these sea slugs are animals that behave like a plant. They can photosynthesize. The sea slugs have incorporated into their own bodies the photosynthetic cells of algae. When they do not find algae to feed on, they can remain three or four months without feeding, producing their energy exclusively from photosynthesis, exactly as plants do. It is surprising, because animals can't photosynthesize. Animals have to have uh, some sort of uh, energy input other than carbon and sunlight. Plants are the only organisms that can survive with uh, uh, just carbon and sunlight. And here's an example of an animal that does it quite well. I mean, animals aren't supposed to photosynthesize. That's an entirely plant-like characteristic. But here they are, and they do it very well. surprise, Sidney Pierce discovered another species of sea slug, Elisa chlorotica. Even more efficient, this one can survive for an entire year without eating, producing all required energy entirely from photosynthesis. As long as the food algae is around, these animals can continue to live very happily, and they don't need to photosynthesize at all. Uh, the trouble is they're uh, sort of like my son, they eat constantly. And so uh, if they r run out of food, then they can photosynthesize. While humankind focuses on solar panels as a prop for photosynthesis, these small sea slugs are well ahead in the race to a greener energy. The way humans capture uh, solar power is entirely mechanical and chemical, uh, whereas the sea slugs are able to take the photosynthetic machinery already made right out of the algal cells and put it into their own cells. So I don't know who's doing better, but sea slugs are doing pretty good. Scientists are trying to figure out how these sea slugs have evolved with the plant world. Could it be at all possible that one day we humans could do likewise? That a share of our cells originates from the plant world and that some of our energy is produced through photosynthesis? It would be nice if humans could do it, because you could just go out and lay on the beach periodically and stop eating food and paying for groceries and so on. Science is incessantly pushing back the boundaries that have risen between the plant world and the animal kingdom. Such boundaries are perhaps not as strong as we once thought. Researchers are revealing a whole new world, a world which is very much our world. Life is a vast network, and everything is connected.